and you just press play. So basically, you, you, you see we, we're starting from uh, Z sphere, just blocking out the skeleton. The proportions are very, very crucial as um, um, if, if we don't have these proportions right, then, then everything won't be anatomically correct. Obviously, we, we're still going to pose this, but then to have that foundation is very, very crucial. Uh, again, blocking out a basic skeleton, we, we uh, didn't go like too much details and stuff. And then the muscles. Um, I tend to um, to focus on um, on the superficial muscles for this um, as artist. Uh, so the, the muscles which will affect the skin. Obviously, it's going to be covered in fur and stuff. So most of these won't be visible, but then some of them will be as we pose the character. And we bump up the, the, the details like the muscle mass. We kind of exaggerate that as we're still gonna zero mesh and then lose some of these details over here. So we using um, zero mesh, very, very quick and dirty way to get just, just a, a decent topology, not like animation ready and stuff, so just for us to be able to pose our character, to get that low res and etc. And then posing with the, the, um, the transpose tool, like the old fashioned way. <laughs> Just looking at our reference also we use like using spotlight just getting those proportions just making sure that our pose like we don't ruin the the overall proportions and stuff and still maintaining the the muscle flow etc and, and again just sculpting these wrinkles as you see just like this won't probably be vis be like visible on the final render as it's going to be covered in fur but then this just trains you so we we went through all of that even the the veins and the skin details um just using normal zbrush alphas as you can see no external offers over here just for us to um to get like a full um skin layer on top not just cheating and, and just applying fur with without any details uh, and again just copying the uh, uh sculpting the tree bark this is from a cylinder just a basic cylinder from zbrush and then just adding those um those primary forms those major shapes before like we add those fine details obviously we using reference from the actual tree the actual tree bark and the, the textures applying in noise maker very very quick way to uh, to get those um to use those tellable textures and just apply those details like so and then like the the eyeball i used um stager like the zebra stager and then just using spotlight to get some of those surface details and then obviously using radial symmetry to hand sculpt um, all the eye details like that just getting everything uh, just looking closely at, at our reference so the eyes have the eyes have to be they have to be um, very very realistic because they sell the, the, the piece so once we we get those eyes to be realistic and then we, we like start painting so um, I'm gonna show you guys a very quick a quick way i i normally do my poly paints very quick and dirty but then uh it's it's very very easy once you you get the hang of it just merging all the 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 uh, reference that we were able to find and then just merging all these colors so you you can basically get like a very quick way to um very quick color paint on um for our tiger so i'm going to show you my that technique so basically this um this cause it's me just in, just um introducing you guys to the quickest way to that actually you can st sculpt realistic animals and obviously not ignoring the uh, anatomy because that's very very crucial and again in exchange i'm going to show you guys a very quick way to um to groom those fur um, just using a few number of guides to just controlling their flow. 
And then obviously once we're done, I'm gonna set up the render. We are gonna be using HDRIs. On that, just setting up realistic renders, as you can see going through that. Excel. And then after that, we, we're gonna go through Photoshop. And I, I'm just gonna show you guys how to, to edit your final renders. Just using Camera Raw Filter, that, that tool, it's, there's a lot of um, control that you guys can get out of that. So we're going to be using that for our final render and um, compositing everything in um, Photoshop. Everything will be um, very, very slow. So I'm going to be moving very, very slow with you guys so you guys won't get lost. So this was the final render that we were able to achieve. So this is 3K. Obviously we, we can crank up those details. But then this was the final render. Um, so it was rendered in Maya for Arnold. And like the ZBrush one, like the final scope that we we got in ZBrush was, was this guy. Like this was what we, we ended up with in ZBrush. With, with all the uh, fine details and the wrinkles so forth. And then um, these are, are just few of the renders. As you can see some close up of the fur uh, like that. And then some of these guys are so test renders. Uh, as you see guys, as I told like the eyes are very, very crucial. So, so we were very careful with that and it helps solve everything and then some of the other angles we see facing that side and also the top view as you can see like that so um thank you again for all your time and just lastly i i just want to ask from you guys um what like what should i teach next um i just want to get from you guys so just comment down on the section below uh which subject should i teach or which animal or which whatsoever uh we 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 just want to know from you guys uh, like that so and and again thank you guys i'm Adrian from s anatomy and hope to see you soon peace out